Hi, everybody, and welcome to the John Meyer Podcast. We have a special podcast happening today, and yes, we're talking all things reInvent and maybe some AMD. No, of course we're talking AMD. Our guest today is Mike Thompson, who's a senior cloud product manager at, yes, you guessed it, AMD, managing the Epic powered products in AWS. Our topic, reInvent, sneak peek. What's new in AWS and AMD? Please join me in welcoming Mike to the show. Mike, how you doing? Doing great, John. Nice to talk to you again. And Really getting excited for reInvent. You know, we've had lots of preparation going on here at AMD, and it's the funnest show of the year. So looking forward to it in a few weeks. In fact, it's less than three weeks away, and we have so much to talk about, not only at this podcast, but what's happening and upcoming. Mike, you and I had a chance to actually get together back in July in New York. We did a recording, and we mm -hmm. talked about what's happening with AWS. Uh, anything mm -hmm. to add there from our New York conversation? Yeah, well, there's a lot of new uh, products that AWS has rolled out since we spoke in New York. I think uh, when we were speaking in New York City, we were sneak peeking, keep an eye out for what's coming. Well, a lot has rolled out since then. So I think that'll be a lot of the discussion at reInvent this year. Exactly. Now, Mike, let's talk about stuff leading up to reInvent. Uh, we're I want to talk about the Epic Genoa powered uh, processors. This is pretty cool. First of all, you've been talking about them not only in uh, New York, but you've been talking mm -hmm. about on all the stages around. Let's get to it. Yeah. So over the last few months, over this summer, um, AWS rolled out a broad portfolio of AMD Epic powered instances, like you said. And, you know, for me, that was really interesting because they rolled them out faster than any generational rollout that I've seen. So in the space of about two months, we rolled out four instance types. So compute optimized, memory optimized, uh, general purpose, as well as high performance compute optimized instances. So a broad portfolio of their seventh generation instance types. Mike, let's talk about these instances. What is the value of the Genoa instances that AWS rolled out within all these four types? I know we were talking about performance, speed, you know, optimization, but really let's get down to mm -hmm. it. Well, the Genoa instances performance enables, in a nutshell, enables users to do more with less. From the AMD side, uh, the Epic Genoa processors were designed to be the highest performance data center processor on the planet. And after AWS built their systems and brought them to market, it enabled them uh, to say, hey, we've got a 50% generational performance uplift uh, on these new instances powered by Genoa. And over the summer, I've been running loads and loads of benchmarking. And you know, with all that benchmarking, it validates AWS's 50% performance uplift claim. In many cases, I see quite a bit more uplift generationally. Uh, and in my session on Wednesday, I'll be explaining how users can leverage that performance uplift to get performance-driven job cost reduction by switching to AMD Epic-powered processors. Now, Mike's talking about his session that's actually happened at reInvent, right? On Wednesday during yes. reInvent? Okay, okay, we're going to get to that because there's a lot of things happening, not only with Mike, AMD, the podcast, the studio and everything. Mike, what does it mean the power to do more with less? So doing more with less, because there's so much performance uplift, it fundamentally means users can run smaller and faster and hence less, at less cost, or they can do more with the same investment. So if they're spending... X amount of dollars on their cloud infrastructure and applications today, with that same investment, they can get a lot more compute resources, a lot more cloud resources for the same investment. So it means they can grow their business with no new investment. Mike, typically when users go into the AWS console and they select an EC2 instance, how do they really know what's the difference between the others versus AMD and the performance that it's going to give them for their application or workloads? So, so good question. Um, in order to be able to identify the AMD instances, there's a cheat code, and we'll, we'll do this as a quiz. How about that? Um, so the latest Genoa-powered instances are C7A, R7A, M7A, and HPC 7 a Can anyone see the common thread? Wow. I'm not sure. Was it the first letter or the last two? I'm not... <laughs> 
It's the last letter. So if you look for a trailing A in the suffix, you'll be selecting an AMD instance. And that'll allow you to take advantage of this 50% performance uplift. Mike, I appreciate the cheat code that you're giving everybody. Now let's talk about the difference. You have a processor, Milan and Genoa. What's the difference? What's what? Why both of those? Yeah, so good question. And that's one of the purposes of going to reInvent to have discussions with customers and partners to try to help users understand which instance type is right for them. And so there's two generations of AMD processors. There's actually multiple generations, but the two latest and greatest are really, really good for new application development. There's the sixth generation instances, C6A, M6A, R6A, HPC 6A, uh, that are really good for applications that aren't CPU performance bound, or maybe they're always on applications that need to just run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You can't really do that sort of workload faster. It just has to be always on. And so for those types of workloads, the sixth generation Milan instances are really, really suitable to those types of applications. Now, under the seventh generation instances, these are the Geno Epic Genoa powered instances, C7A, R7A, and so forth. Those instances are really best for performance or time bound applications where performance is the most critical, um, the most critical aspect of whatever workload, or maybe a time bound application. For instance, a lot of banks, they run overnight risk calculations. And if those risk calculations don't finish by the opening of business, the bank doesn't really get to do business, not in a safe way anyway. And so performance and time bound applications are really suitable to the seventh generation Genoa powered instances. Mike, I didn't even actually know what the time bound instance is because here's what I'm thinking. My scalable workloads, I need to process massive amounts of data and I mm -hmm. need to get this done. And a lot of things where everybody's like, I'm just going to throw 100 instances out of it. It runs 12 hours. It'll be done. But what if you could actually do more where like maybe 125 instances, you're done in an hour. Do you know how much time and money you've saved off the performance of those instances? I do. And um, in my speaking session at reInvent, I'm going to go into some details on that. So if anybody is listening to this podcast and they have any interest in that whatsoever, uh, please come to my 4 p.m. session on Wednesday. Okay, let's talk reInvent because, Mike, this is happening in less than three weeks away. Let's kick things off. First of all, AMD is not only a diamond sponsor at AWS for reInvent at the Expo, but you're one of our platinum sponsors for the Blue Wire Studios happening at the win. There's so much happening and going on by AMD. Yeah, that's true. And it's been nice working with you, John. I'm glad we get a chance to do it again. So there is a lot going on, and uh, our showrunner, her name's Nat, Natasha Sampson, she really knows how to throw a party, and she really knows how to run a show. So on opening day, we're going to have a happy hour at the AMD booth. So, so for those that are coming in on the first day of the show, please swing by the AMD booth for a happy hour. Uh, the last one we did in New York City had a line all the way across the show floor. We're going to try to duplicate that again. And then on Tuesday evening, November 28th, we have a dinner party. This is an official reInvent event and a networking party. It's called Epic to the Core, and that's at the Canaletto restaurant. Um, we filled the place to capacity last year. I expect that to happen again this year. So please come and join us early and the entertainment will be enjoyable, I'm sure. Um, and then we're on to the sessions. So AMD has two breakout sessions this year at 10 a.m. on Wednesday, the 29th. Uh, our VP of the Cloud Business Unit, Ron Pedibotla, will talk about how to conquer cloud challenges with a competitive edge for less with AMD. Um, and for those that want to dig into the business transformation, the facts. So Ron's going to prevent a bunch, present a bunch of business transformation uh, aspects of what Genoa brings to the to cloud users now. For anyone that wants to dig into the details of how do we come to that conclusion or for specific workloads, what kind of performance increase and uh, decrease in cost can you expect? That will be the topic of my session, which runs at 4 p.m. Um, seats are reservable now. And, you know, I looked, I think it was last week, I looked at how many people have reserved seats already, and there's a bunch. We're seeing 
uh, reservations fill up faster than any event I've been involved with before. So now's the time to take action. We hope to see you there. And then we also have uh, some yet to be announced events. I would suggest, so if you remember, we had, uh, we had customers and partners into our VIP suite at the Drake concert in New York. We're gonna try to do something similar this time around, as well as some other events that I can't quite disclose yet. So I would encourage you and others to stop by the booth to find out what's going on. I'm sure these will be worthwhile. Uh, and if you don't stop by the booth, you're not going to find out. Make sure you follow Mike and AMD and myself on social media. Mike, there's so much going on because not only do you have those events, you have the opening day event uh, at your booth, right? Come into the expo. You have the Tuesday, the dinner party. You have two sessions. Uh, one of the sessions I love, a conquering cloud challenges with competitive edge for less with AMD. Then your session at four o'clock, Mike, I, I think after this recording and all my social posts highlighting your sessions are gonna be filled up. There's gonna be a wait list. Everybody, you gotta get to it right away. And then the yet to be announced, and I have to tell you, I think I know what this is, but I'm not spoiling it until it happens. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, and not, not only that, Sunday, you're at the studio with me. We're recording some stuff at the win. You guys wanna come by, come watch over. There's a fishbowl, you can see Mike and I in action. There's three other sessions we're also recording over at the studio. Awesome prizes you can win. Mike, there, I don't even know how you're going to be able to sleep while you're out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's Vegas. There's plenty of good coffee around. We're going to power through. Yeah, looking forward to it, John. We have a few sessions scheduled to record more podcasts with you. So anyone listening to this, keep an eye on John's channel. Uh, while we're at reInvent, we'll be releasing more podcasts, so stay tuned. Exactly. In fact, you better follow Meyer Media, me, Mike, AMD. Don't worry. There's so much content that we're going to be pushing out. There's awesome stuff happening. I think the most important thing are the two sessions that you have going on, and I hope you maybe you get so many that's filled up, they want to be like, hey, Mike, uh, you want to do a repeat on this section? Because we got a lot of interest. Yep. Would love to, and I'll be at the booth most of the day if I'm not at sessions or in customer meetings. Feel free to swing by and have a chat. All right, well, that's awesome. Mike, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you filling in on what's happening with Milan, Genoa, the Epic processors, the AMD uh, instance types out there, and the little like cheat codes that you provided everybody. This has been an awesome, informative session. Yep, appreciate you taking the time, John. I'll see you in Vegas, and... Uh... Let's go. Yes, I'll see you in Vegas for some more awesome content. Mike, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Sure thing. Take care, John. See you all in Vegas. This has been the John Meyer Podcast. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notify because guess what? We're out of here.